Hey, my name is Jill Robertson and I'm a landscape architect at Dialogue. One of my passions is active transportation and I think that if we got more people out of their cars and onto bikes, it'd be a so much better world. We've got uh, a small but dedicated team in the Edmonton studio of Christy and Alexis and we are the, uh, the Dialogue Biker Girls. I was thinking about why I'm participating in the Ride to Conquer. Um, when I was 10, my grandfather was diagnosed with a rare form of melanoma skin cancer. I saw him go through that process. He came to the city with my grandmother uh, every week for chemo treatment and then eventually he did pass away from cancer. It's for my family. My husband's mother died of cancer when he was six. Him, he's a cancer researcher at the University of Alberta, so he's someone that directly benefits from the research dollars that are raised. Um, one of my, my best friend's mother got diagnosed with breast cancer. She had the opportunity to catch it early and she's, she's beat it. That's really what this is all about, is the money that goes towards the research to diagnose early. You know, I think, uh, to me, a big part of like beating cancer is living a healthy lifestyle too. There's nothing like a 200 kilometer goal to make you more of a cyclist. We've been riding about 100 kilometers a week training. Sometimes I'm pulling my daughter in a chariot and she's going, go faster, mommy, you can do it. The fundraising, is, is, it's super challenging. If I find the fundraising is challenging, how challenging is it to go through treatment and, and beat, beat the disease? It's been a bit of a challenge, but it's a challenge we can overcome. There's so many examples of cities outside of Canada where bike culture is so prevalent and part of their urban living, and I'd love to see us head in that direction. To cycle in Edmonton and to see what it's really like, it makes me think even more so about the work that I'm doing and how we can make the world better.